Hey guys, guess what? I'm a certified pilot. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tyler. If you're new here, welcome. I do videos about just kind of my life, you know? A anything, the ch name of the channel is called Time I Discovering. I'm always doing something new, adventure, whether it's business or personal, you know, vlogs, unboxing tech videos. I'm a videographer, an editor, cameraman, whatever you call it. Uh, I do anything that involves with a camera, media, and, and I love it. And I just wanna document as much as I can and share with you along that journey, help you maybe discover something new, your passion, your hobby, whatever it may be. And today we have a very special video. I got this in the mail. Uh, over the summer, I took my drone pilot's license certification so uh, I can fly these bad boys legally and commercially and make money doing so. I am super excited that I passed. Um, it's honestly a very tough test and we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. Uh, the process that I took about studying for that test, I took a specific course, uh, how I was able to go through that, manage that, learn what I need to learn to take the FFA certification part 107 exam uh, to become a legally and certified drone pilot through the FFA or FAA, Federal Ad Federal Aviation Administration. So um, let, we're gonna open up this envelope. I haven't opened it yet. I've had it for a while. And I did get my temporary licenses. I've had those in my bag for a while. Um, let's actually grab one of those and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've been uh, been keeping this little sheet of paper in, in my drone. Uh, can you see that? Here, let me. been keeping this little piece of paper inside my uh, camera bag um, and it's just a temporary certificate it says that Tyler is a small unmanned aircraft uh, service pilot and I can run any small unmanned aircraft system uh, date issued uh, July 29th of this summer um, so I've had it for a few months now and I can legally fly a drone uh, we got the official certification and license from the FAA uh, just in the mail. It took quite a while, honestly, um, but it says that, uh, oh, cool. It, so this is an official certificate. We will blur some of this out, but I got this little ID card with my name on it, certification and issue date. This license is good for two years. Um, after that, I just have to retake a smaller version of the part 107 exam, just, you know, refreshing my memory and um, showing that I still am knowledgeable about the information. It's not a full retake of the exam, but I'm super excited to have this. Uh, you know, I fly drones for my wedding videos. I do real estate photography and videography um, as a hobbyist, just for fun to get some, I live in the UP, which is a beautiful area. I love to show that off. To legally, commercially fly, like get paid to fly a drone, you need to have an FAA license. It's regulated, they wanna be able to manage you know, who, that you are knowledgeable enough to be flying in in the airspace. You know, the government owns the airspace and all that stuff. So um, definitely something to look into if you're interested in drones. Um, I'm going to talk about quickly kind of how I went about studying for it. So I signed up for Drone Pilot Ground School. The guy's name is Alan. He's based out of Tennessee. He's a great instructor. And it's a completely online course with videos and follow along quizzes and tests to uh, kind of prepare you. And he's incredibly knowledgeable. I would definitely check that out. Again, that's dronepilotgroundschool.com. He built this course, incredibly intelligent. And the reason that I love his course, I, I looked into a few different courses. It was reasonable uh, in, in the price. And uh, if you take the test and you fail, he'll reimburse you to take the test again. Um, but if you follow everything that he has has given you um, and study and take the plastic quizzes and exams, each section he's got it divided up where uh, you can you know, read through, he has a follow along video, talks about a subject, and then at the end he has some quizzes or a, a few questions regarding that subject. And then at the end he has a few different practice tests that you can go through. The part 107 exam is, is 60 questions, multiple choice questions. You have to pass with a 70%, so that's 42 questions correct. Um, I think I only got like 44 questions correct. So I only passed by a couple. It was honestly much tougher than I thought and I'm really glad that I did sign up for the Drone Pilot Ground School with Alan because 
Um, he definitely taught me everything I need to know. You know, there are some free resources out there. I know uh, the Northrop, um, I forget his name. Yeah, Tony. So Tony and Chelsea Northrop, he's got a great video. I'll link to it up here. I watched that quite a few times and uh, I still felt like I just wanted a little bit more as a safety net. No, you know, it it costs money to, to do this. I wanted to do it right and I did pass the first time. So I do think that the drone pilot ground school was useful. It's a lot to go through, like I said, but it definitely worth it. There's a lot of different courses out there, but uh, I would recommend that one. Um, otherwise, just do your own research. Find a good course to follow along. If you're good at tests and good at retaining knowledge, you can watch, you can totally watch Tony's free video and, and pass the exam that way, which is definitely possible. Again, I'll put that link in the description so you can check that out. But do your due, due diligence, study hard. The FFA, you know, they there's a lot of regulations and a lot of extra things on the exam that are designated for actual airmen pilots. Um, you know, manned aircraft. Um, but, you know, we are flying around drones that, you know, you got to be safe out there, uh, especially if you're a wedding videographer or if you're doing it for YouTube or you know, personal use or whatever it may be. Th this thing is, can cause some damage, you know, whether it be a car, or a person or, or anybody. Um, you got to be safe up there. You got to fly properly, fly smart. Um, and, and that's all they're wanting you to do uh, is just be intelligent and understand everything that that goes on with with the airspace so hopefully this was helpful again check out those links the free video drone pilot ground school with alan is great uh you, you got to pass with a 70 percent it, it's it's more difficult than you think a lot of people say it's easy which for me i'm i'm not the greatest test taker so um it just took a little extra work for me but i'm glad that i did it and now i can legally fly um, keep getting out there and doing wedding videos and real estate and I'm just super excited. So uh, hopefully this was helpful to you in any way. If you have questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see future videos about you know me flying my drones, uh, drone updates, photography tips, things like that. Um, just a remote pilot information, things like that. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If you are already a certified drone pilot, let me know how, how did you pass? Did you pass well? Um, was it difficult for you? Did you study with any exams? Did you just kind of wing it? Did you watch free videos? What did you do? So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Again, really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Make sure to get out there and keep discovering.